From relationships to career advice to internet scams and more, the Truth Team is here to deliver the unfiltered answers you need. First, we have Haley, who is coming to us now via Skype from Fort Worth, Texas. Hey there, Haley. Tell us what your question is. So my question is for a family member who has been involved in online love scam type of things for mm. about the past three years. Mm. Um, he sent about $40,000. Mm. He's gone without food, water, oh. electricity, um, just to send money in hopes that this woman or whoever she is will come and be with him forever. And of course, she never shows up. Mm -hmm. um, so my question is, how do we get him to snap out of it and find somebody without having to pay for love? Haley, what are some of the things you've already tried to do to get your loved one to stop sending money? Um, so I've actually done reverse image searches of mm -hmm. the woman he thinks he's talking to. And at first, he'll kind of agree and, and think that it's ridiculous and he believes us. Um, and then whoever he's speaking to will convince him otherwise that, oh, somebody else stole my pictures yeah. or um, they're pretending to be me. And then he just gets sucked right back into it. So I think, you know, there's a couple of things. First, you don't want to shame them. You don't want to push them because that will just make them retreat further. And there's a really good therapeutic technique that I use called reality testing. And anybody can do it, really. You already started doing it, which is to show him the evidence and ask him what he thinks about it. Mm -hmm. And you have to do that repeatedly because as you said sometimes he'll have that recognition he goes right back into it you may also Definitely. Haley consider trying to get law enforcement involved they're asking uh, people to send money online and yes. sometimes there's money laundering mm -hmm. involved and we've had other cases on the show where just having someone from a police department or law enforcement talk to an individual and tell them about the seriousness of it that's been really persuasive and getting that person to understand that they can be putting themselves into some kind of legal jeopardy I think on a legal note, it's very important that you take control of his money. Maybe yes. go to the courts mm -hmm. and see if you can become a conservator um, yes. over his yes. assets so that they're, you know, he's not going to continue to deplete them. That's kind of hard. I mean, there's yeah. a lot to prove. Right. It may not be yeah. accomplished, but you might use that as a threat. The fact that you've come to us to ask for information and advice just says that you really care for this person, yeah. and hopefully these tools we've given you will help you help this person stop harming themselves. And trust, Haley, we have seen our share of catfish stories and yeah. internet scams, yeah. and yeah. our our private investigator, Brad Fanner, has unraveled them all. And, you know, we've got really, really good results with Brad. Brad has agreed to help you look into some of these people and hopefully get through to your loved one. Mm. Okay? That would be amazing. Yes. Thank you. Right. <laughs> and Thank we you. promise that we will update you on what we find out on the show, okay? Absolutely. Thank you so much. All right. Best Thank of you. luck, darling.